guys, it's Jessie. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am so happy you found Jessie Shelf. This is my YouTube channel where I talk about books, tea, and I sometimes do videos with my dog Sadie, who's over there kind of cut out of the shot. She might be in it, I'm not sure, but she's just hanging out over there, so she's kind of in this video too. Anyways, um, if you're new here, I'm so happy you found Jessie's Shelf. Um, this is gonna be my February wrap up. It's very, very overdue. This is going up in March. But as I said in my previous video, my life blew up in February. And I'm just now getting around to doing my wrap up. Um, even though February was a hectic month for me mentally, socially, everything else, I did a lot of reading actually, and I read a variety of formats, which I'm really proud of. I read a couple physical books, but I really got into audiobooks, which I'm super happy. I found some real gems of audiobooks, and it's kind of opened my world to audiobooks now, and the audiobooks I read will listen to this month. I listened to them in the car while I was doing a lot of driving, and they were just, they were incredible and now I'm on the hunt for more amazing audiobooks so um, I really like like memoirs in audiobooks so if you have any recommendations please feel free to leave that down in the comments but let's get into the books I read and listened to in February starting with a book I DNF'd and that is Ordena by Joseph Boyden I was buddy reading this with my friend Amber from Amber Eats Books I'll link her channel down below I have yet to go watch her February wrap up but I'm pretty sure she actually really enjoyed this book I unfortunately just could not get into it I was trying to read it at a hectic time and it was just not the book for me um, I'm definitely probably going to pick it up again though so a DNF on that one so now moving on to the books I finished this month I didn't read anything under 3.5 stars and the first one is The Immortalist by Cleo Benjamin this is a new release for 2018 I took notes while I read this so there's going to be a review so I won't say too much but this book is about four siblings the gold siblings and one day they are really bored and they go to a fortune teller who gives them the date that they are going to die from that we get like a section from each sibling and basically up till when they die that's not a spoiler they all pretty much die in this book um I really enjoyed this up until the end the ending was kind of flat for me I actually need to reread the ending a little bit before I make my review but the writing style was kind of weird at times too there's some weird ways the author explains stuff and I'm gonna talk more about that in my review but I really like the concepts of fortune tellers and fortune telling I've been to a few and I'm very dead set on what they've told me so of course this book sparked my interest but I expected this to be a five star read it wasn't 3.5 stars is still fairly good in my books though I would recommend reading this it wasn't bad I love the cover of this book and be sure to look out for my review the next book I want to talk about is The Night Season by Chelsea Kane. I gave this book 3.5 to 5 stars. So this is book four in the Archie Sheridan and Gretchen Lowell series, a series I have just started reading this year and I've really been enjoying. Unfortunately, this is like the lowest rating I've gave any of these books. And first off, this book is about Archie, of course, and he's solving a new crime. Um, it is flooding in the location this book is set in and there are bodies showing up and they're finding that they're being poisoned. So there's a new serial killer on the loose and Archie and his team are trying to solve the case. And in this book, you see a lot more of Archie's uh, detective skills. You get a lot more from the side characters, which I really enjoyed because in the other books, you get little scenes of them, but you don't really get to know them. In this book, you truly did, which I enjoyed. The one thing is you don't see a lot of Gretchen. I will say that, I won't spoil um, what actually goes on with the serial killer that's like killing these people and poisoning them because that was very unique but you don't see a lot of Gretchen and because of that it's not that that was a bad thing but this book just felt like a spin-off book to the series to me and I'm not even done the series but I don't know where it had its place or has its place and I need to read the last two books I don't know how she's tying in this book to the other books but it feels like she just needed a break from writing about Gretchen which I totally get but I just don't feel like as of right now my opinion is this book didn't have its place in the series but it was still good it was written well it was very interesting like I said how this serial killer is killing people in this book is totally unique to me and I didn't see that coming and I did enjoy it but it just didn't feel like it was in like the right place for the series if you guys know what I mean Next up, my four star read month was The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks. I listened to this on Audible, oh my goodness, and I don't think this book would have had the same effect on me as I had read it in physical form, but it was so good. Now, this book is kind of a memoir, but a story at the same time. The author did a really good job of making it not 
boring at all. And Henrietta Lacks was a woman, who, a black woman, who went in to get her cervix checked out and she found out she had cervical cancer. And what happened is the doctors at John Hopkins, they took some of her cells. And those cells are actually the HeLa cells that have been used to create all kinds of drugs and tons of research in medicine. But they took her cells without her knowing and without her children knowing. And these cells make people millions and millions of dollars and her children have no access to that money. They had no idea. I'm not doing this book justice as explaining it at all. It's been a little while, but it was very interesting, very informative. I really like stuff about medicine, so that's maybe why I liked it a little bit more. I was nervous about it because um, I was nervous about all like the biology and the science-y stuff, but um, I, I grasped most of it, like I could understand what was going on, like some of it, it did go over my head because I'm not a scientist, but for the most part, it wasn't too complex. Um, what I really enjoyed is the story of Henrietta and her family. That is what I really, really enjoyed the most about this book and finding out about these people and how this one thing that a doctor did affected people for generations. It was insane. It made me really think a lot about consent. And that is something like I do in my job. I have to have consent in order to help people. And it just made me like really think about that because it's a big thing in my job as a paramedic. And it made me think about like tissue donation and do we own our tissue after it's not on our body and after we die. And it just, it had my brain going. Like after I finished listening to this book, I thought about it for days. I would highly recommend this if you are interested in medicine. If you don't have an interest in medicine or have like a background in medicine, you might not like this at all. Um, you might find it boring, but I really enjoyed it a lot. Next up is a book I gave 4.5 out of 5 stars, and that is Evil at Heart by Chelsea Kane. This is book three in the Archie Sheridan and Gretchen Lowell series. I obviously read this before the night season, and holy crap. Um, I can't say too much because I'll spoil the first two. You really should read this series. It is about a serial killer named Gretchen Lowell and her detective that she basically held hostage for a few days and it's about him dealing with her and dealing with his new drug addiction and solving crimes and it's it's a crazy crazy ride um but I can't say too much because I don't want to spoil the first two books just know that I really enjoy these books um they're very gruesome very graphic so please do not read them if those are triggers for you um, the one thing about this book that took off 0.5 of a star, because it would have been a five star read, is there were a lot of things that happened in Sweetheart to the second book that just kind of disappeared and weren't really wrapped up in Evil at Heart. So um, I still have faith in Chelsea Kane that she'll wrap them up a little bit in the last two books, because she did it in the night season, because that was just like a filler book, I feel, like a spin off filler book. But yeah, that's the reason it didn't get a full five, but still incredible. I love this series so much and I can't wait to read the last two books now. And lastly, but not leastly, my five star read of the month, my favorite book of February was an audiobook and that is Born a Crime by Trevor Noah. Five out of five stars across the board. So good. This is also narrated by the author and he did an amazing job of telling a story and narrating its story and it made it that much more important and impactful and it meant a lot for him to tell his story instead of some random random person. But this audiobook or book is about Trevor Noah's life growing up and he was born a crime because he grew up in South Africa around the time where whites and blacks were not allowed to mix together and have kids and families. That was a big no-no. So he was born a crime because he has a black mother and a white father. And it's just about his life growing up, different stories about what happened like that he doesn't fit in with the blacks, he doesn't fit in with the whites, how he got judgment from his family and society and there was a lot of crazy shit that happened in his life like some of these were funny, some of them were sad and made me cry. The ending story, oh my goodness, I was on the edge of my car seat because I was listening to this while I was driving and there are so many good quotes about racism and it really makes you think about racism and I wish I had had a pen and paper while I was driving to write these down or note where they were because I would definitely quote them but this was so good. I'm so happy I listened to this. I'll probably listen to it again. It was just oh, perfect, 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 perfect audiobook. So happy. Could not gush about this more. All right, and that is all I have for you guys for my February wrap up for 2018. I apologize for this being up late, but sometimes when your life blows up in your face, you gotta take a step away from YouTube and BookTube and everything else and just kind of be with yourself. But 
Please like and subscribe. I'd really, really appreciate it. Also, um, if you read any of these books, co please comment down below. I'd love to chat to you in the comments. Please give me any audiobook recommendations. Please let me know what you read in February. Um, I'm gonna be watching everybody's wrap ups and videos soon, so if I'm like commenting on videos that you posted weeks ago, I apologize. I just need to play catch up with YouTube and BookTube. That being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.